What's up, gamers? In this video, I'm going to be showing you just how to press A and make good money in this game, but it's going to require a bit of a setup to do. I just want to say a huge shout out to Game Boy Luke for inspiring me to do this idea. I'm linking his video down in the description below. This is a no dupe or glitch method. This is really for people who are sitting in the end game and want a really fun and passive way to make money by playing the game naturally just the way it was intended to. No duplications, nothing. So here are the steps that you have to do in order to make this happen. Step one, you're going to have to head over to Medali East. And when you reach Medali East, you're going to be talking to this guy over here. If you don't have it by now, basically, you're going to have to defeat a couple of trainers in the area. And this guy will eventually be giving you the amulet coin. And what the amulet coin does is it's going to increase the amount of money you get per battle when you're fighting. And this is what we'll be attaching to our Pokemon for this method. Step two, you're going to have to get Chi Yu. Listen, at this point, everyone's going to need Chi Yu to complete the Pokedex and finish it. So might as well put this little cute goldfish to use. So basically, here's a section of the map with all the stake locations that you need in order to get Chi Yu if you don't have it by now. Maybe you're a little bit in the early game. You want to watch this video to prepare for this method. So there it is. That's what you got to do. And then go to its cave, bump into it fight it and i uh, wasted a master ball on it on this copy of the game okay now that you caught chi yu step two is complete step three is where the bulk work is because you're going to have to train your chi yu correctly because you want to one shot a lot of pokemon using this method now you're gonna be fighting pokemon ranging from level 65 to 72 so this is why we're going a little over the top and maximizing some stats out before we move on make sure to hit that subscribe button it shows that you guys enjoy videos like this and i love putting out this information for all of you now, if you didn't get the right nature on your Pokemon, don't worry about it. I got Bashful on mine, so this wasn't the right nature I needed. If you need to put the right nature on your Pokemon, just simply go to Chansey Supply. You're just gonna go ahead and look for what we want is the Modest Mint. And what the Modest Mint is going to do is increase the special attack of the Pokemon while lowering the attack. So buy one of these mints, it's gonna cost you 20K. You might have it in your bag if you've been adventuring around in the game and you're going to just put that on your Chi Yu. Now, just to avoid some confusion, when you put a mint on the Pokemon, it's not going to say that the nature is different. All it's going to be doing is adjusting the stats. So just like we said, if you look at special attack, you see the red increase, it is up, and you can see the attack is blue, it's down. That's how you know you successfully put the mint on it and it's working. Basically, we're trying to take advantage of the high special attack that Chi Yu has, which is 135, which is very, very high. So this is why we're going to be focusing on building around the special attack of this Pokemon. Now, we're not done. We still have to train the Eevees of this Pokemon. So go back to Chansey Supplies and you're going to have to purchase a total of about 51 vitamins. You need 25 vitamins of a specific type to max out a Pokemon stat. So what we're doing is we're going to max out special attack completely. So what you're going to need is 25 calciums and those 25 calciums will cost you 250,000. You're going to need 25 Carbos. Those are going to cost you 250,000 as well. And that is going to completely max out the speed of the Pokemon. And you're just going to put the remainder just by one HP up. And that's going to be the remainder of the EVs going into HP just to give it that slightly little bit more of survivability. So all the vitamins in total will cost you about 510,000 Poke Dollars. But if you're one of those people that are too cheap to do it, just go to the Deli Bird shop and purchase some power items. And the ones that you're going to need are the power lens, the power anklet, and the power weight. So attach power lens to your Pokemon and knock out 28 Psyducks and that'll give you your maximum special attack EV boost. You're gonna attach the power anklet and knock out 28 Fletchlings and that'll maximize your speed stat completely or your EVs in speed. And then just go knock out one Paldean Wooper with the power weight attached and that'll give you the remainder of HP. So there you go. I gave you the working hard way and I gave you the expensive way to do the EVs. You'll know a Pokemon is completely EV trained by going into this menu over here and then hitting L to go to the graph view. So if you hit the graph view, you can see that it is sparkling in special attack and speed. That means you did it correctly. You maximized it out completely and there's no more EV training to do with this Pokemon. And you can see that right now, as of this screen, we have a special attack of 405 
at a speed of 299. Also, this is this Pokemon is at level 100. So I'm going to also need all of you to go ahead and grind your Pokemon to 100. So basically, to get levels, it's really not that hard. All you have to do is do a bunch of raid dens, and you've probably have done a lot by now. Now that you're in the end game, just grab the candies and level up your Pokemon to get it to that level 100. So now we are fully EV trained. We are fully leveled. We have the nature that's boosting the correct stat. But now that you have your Pokemon completely EV trained, you have your Pokemon with the right nature, time to make it even stronger by getting the proper IVs and maximizing the IVs on your Pokemon. Okay, in order to do this, just go to Deli Bird Presence and what you're going to do is click on General Goods. And when you're in General Goods, you're going to see, see something called Bottle Caps. And what Bottle Caps are going to do is just maximize an IV. Now, your legendary Pokemon most likely already has three max IVs. So the max you're going to need is three. And the ones that you primarily want to focus on having the max one is special attack and speed. These are the ones that are going to be important. So purchase three bottle caps. That's going to run you about 60,000 in total. And then we're going to open up the map and head over to Montenerva. And this is pretty much where you're going to find a guy standing there. And this is the hyper training guy. Talk to him, select your bottle caps that you want to train on your Chiyu. And then you're going to have a completely maximized Chiyu in those stats. So the total cost to get Chiyu ready for this method is going to be 590,000. But don't worry, this method is going to make sure you get all your money back by just doing this simple and easy and a very effective grind and make even more. So you're making your money back and you'll be able to train even more Pokemon in the game. Okay, so something also that you want to do is you want to make sure that you click on the moveset for Chiyu and you want to put Dark Pulse as the first move on it. So make sure to learn Dark Pulse and make sure that is the first move that Chiyu can learn. This is pretty much what we're going to be using. Now, the reason why Chiyu is extremely broken is one, look at all our stats now that we have maximized everything. We have a 405 special attack our speed is at 299 so we're going to be moving fast moving first and doing a lot of damage also its ability is beads of ruin and you can see that the power of all pokemon's ruinous beads lowers the special defense stats of all pokemon except itself that is really disgusting and powerful because that is going to allow your chi yu to rip right through every single pokemon that it fights so if you're going to be fighting a Pokemon and it has a high special defense or resist it, maximum, it's going to take you two Dark Pulses to take it out. Otherwise, Dark Pulse will be one-shotting almost every single Pokemon you fight. And before you go in, just make sure that your Amulet Coin is attached to your Chiyu because that's the way you're going to be doubling money. Now, this is the cool part that Luke talked about. Once you're in front of this guy at the Academy, all you have to do at this point is start pressing A. That's it. Just press A. And if you're using a Power Controller... You're going to then just go ahead and let that run completely all night if you're going to bed and it's going to do all the work for you. Now, if you're watching Netflix or watching anime or just chilling and relaxing, you can just do this. I can turn around, talk to somebody, and I'm just going to run A. And um, yeah, we're going to cut forward. So yeah, all the cutscenes are going to be clicked on. The player is going to be walking up. You're going to get random trainers, by the way, that you're going to be fighting. So you're not going to know exactly who you're fighting, but this uh, method is very effective in taking out all of these trainers and uh i'm just gonna show you a really sped up clip of another run that i did i ran this my my wife ran this my friends ran this and no one had any problems at all so you're basically going to be wiping every pokemon and most likely the last pokemon of every single fight the one that's gonna terra is going to be the one that is going to be the strongest most likely against it and the only thing is you're gonna have to just use it twice i have not died once using this method in fact, the amulet coin attached to your Pokemon is going to be even more powerful, giving that money at the end. The only Pokemon that I did have a concern about was Hariyama. Hariyama was probably the only Pokemon we bumped into of the that, that was pretty scary. But even with its super effective attack, it lowered its own special defense even more. And we were able to survive that and keep going. So... That's pretty much the strat that you're going to have to do. Each tournament session that you do will net you around 120,000 Poké Dollars, and each round should last about 12 minutes average. So you'll be making about 1 million Poké Dollars for every hour and 40 minutes, just passively, if you're using the Turbo Controller, or if you're just going ahead and, and clicking and just 
you're able to click for an hour and 40 minutes. I hope this helps all you endgame players to easily get a lot of money without doing any duplication or glitches. This is probably a really fun way with the Amulet coin. Huge shout out to Game Boy Luke again for inspiring the video. And if you want to know some other ways to make money in the game, you can go ahead and check out this video over here.